Australian manufacturer Lightning Protection International has been manufacturing lightning protection equipment in Tasmania since 2002. They manufacture a highly customised range of direct strike lightning protection, grounding products and transient protection products. In order to meet their increased local and overseas demand for their products, they engaged ABB Robotics to supply them with a Yumi collaborative robot. We will look at how the Yumi robot has been able to reduce production lead times and costs, whilst maximising quality within Lightning Protection International's production facility in Hobart. Lightning Protection International is a manufacturer and a distributor of everything lightning protection related. So we produce direct strike protection products, uh, grounding products and transient protection products, all of them electrical engineering products. We manufacture those in Tasmania, have been doing that since 2002. A lot of our clients are infrastructure based companies. Others are what I would call utilities, power, water, those types of things. Uh, also commercial building construction. So predominantly infrastructure based uh, customers. They're really about improving reliability of infrastructure. So if we go back to telecommunications, we're talking about protecting telecommunications infrastructure such that uh, lightning and uh, similar events don't cause damage or downtime to those installations. For us, um, I guess our main driver once again is flexibility. So the fact that we've got uh, two coordinated arms to move together, so let's say simulating a human being, is, uh, is a very attractive feature. I think the other issues are with inbuilt video, vacuum and servo grippers, we've got a lot of flexibility of how we handle and manipulate different parts and how we identify them. So that gave us a toolbox of tools with one robot that would give us quite a lot of flexibility for different tasks. We've found with a few additional tools that we're actually able to move from, uh, for example, testing and configuring one product to a completely different product, probably in the matter of half an hour or so. Now that's required a little bit of thought and planning in terms of how we interface to Yumi with test jigs and so forth, but um, we've been able to show that we can swap from one type of product to another quite quickly. To change from one task, so let's say from testing to assembly of a product, may take a little bit longer, but you're still only talking about a matter of hours, not, uh, not days. The left hand then presents it to the right hand, the right hand grabs the MOV in the grippers and then proceeds to locate the MOV in a precise location. Then the right hand presents the MOV to the cutter. Each of the five leads are cut at a precise length and some different to each other. The right hand then passes the MOV to the left hand suction cup where the left hand places it firmly in the cradle. The hands now work together to depress different, different levers at different times to bend the leads on the MOV. Now the last two levers are to uh, loosen and extract the MOV. The left hand now picks up the MOV from the cradle with the suction cup, just drops it in a pile and keeps on going to the next one. In the two main tasks we've used Yumi for so far, which is helping in test and inspection and also in product assembly, Realistically, he would have a payback of less than a year.